Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are back in our factory. And last time we set up all of this processing to make these aluminum ceramic components, uh, which we need for many, many, many things in our factory. So there is a tool that we have, uh, which is Max Rate Calculator. I wish they, whoever designed this has enormous hands because the default hotkey is Control N. Uh, which I do not approve of, but that's okay. No worries. Uh, anyway, we're going to look at this group of stuff, including our processing of water, just to make sure that we have a maximum rate of water so we can process 22,000 per minute. Let's go take it per second here. Uh, let's see, 375 per minute. So output is max of 800 per minute. So we need to make some more of these guys down here. So that would be fine. Um, another thing that we can do is look at the input rates uh, or, or rates of the production of these items. So we're outputting like eight, eight of this ceramic, 16 uh, pure aluminum, eight copper and eight iron and we have maximum input of just 10. So if we extend this thing, like I really would like to do, we need to also extend these guys. And I think we need probably like one more set of each of these for, for example. So let's just do that. Let's get rid of this and, oops, are we, lo oh, oh, we're just zoomed in. Zoomy zoomies. Okay, so I think what I'll do here is, hmm. How do I want to do this? Kind of want to move these guys up a tiny bit or maybe just add. Can I just add a thingy? I think I probably can. Just add another set right there. That's too close. Yeah, the, oh, that'll work. That'll actually work. Okay, cool. So let's take this belt up here and weirdly enough, that does not fit into that zone of powerness. All right, so that's gonna give us more iron. So sandwiched between is the copper and we're gonna just move these other things up a bit. I think it's probably the easiest way to do this. So huh, how do we wanna do this right now? I think what we do is we remove the stone line Let's see, I have so much stuff in my inventory. I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff in a box here real quick and just take some some things uh, out. Just halves of everything there and so that I can grab up the stone line. And we're just gonna delete this. It's probably gonna have to delete a lot more than this though. And I'll just chuck some of this stone into these places, because why not? Good, good option. Recycling, instant recycling, super easy. Oops, these can't reach. Okay, there we go. That's all of it for now. So we recycled all that, that's great. Uh, all right, so then, oh, we haven't done all of it though. Oh no, not yet, uh-uh. What I wanted to do was actually get this entire thing and double the capacity of this particular array. So I want to grab this stuff and just click it and do the things and stuff and take it down from here. And let's go past the pipes because we can share those pipes uh, as well. We can just have the pipe liquid going the other direction, which is gonna be just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna take this belt and we're gonna reverse the belt on this as well. So we're just gonna go this way instead. Cause I don't see any need to just go up and around. That doesn't even make sense. And this actually might be pretty good because now we're gonna share this belt and I think that's gonna work really nicely. All right, so things are still working, working, working. And then we can divert this stone from this side over here. So let me just copy one belt here. And we'll just add this that away. Yep, there we go. And that'll, that'll show our intentions to the bots and what we want them to do with things. Oh yes. And so we don't have to empty this entire thing. What we're gonna do is just do a reverse belt 
here and it's going to just half the belt. Well, I'm going to do reverse on the entire thing. Uh, otherwise it won't work properly. And then we'll just remove this after we're done. This might be a little bit too micromanagey. I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe just worth just to pick up the stone and call it a good, call it good, call it a day, whatever you want to say about it. Yes. Let's just put some of this stone into these machines. It looks like we are out of machines, so we're going to have to go and buy some more at the mall. This is a, I don't know, purifier, purifier. Okay. Okay, and then we extend this thing as well. That's needed. Yeah, the iron. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think what's happening is we're really not doing a lot of science right now. And that's probably messing with us. Because we're not using a lot of this material. Let's get some... Another stack of arc... Well, let's see. How many arc furnaces do we have? Let's just put these... Let's put those back. Hold on, is this an arc furnace? No. Arc, arc, metal caster. Okay. What are you again? You're a metal caster. I need a purifier. Hello? Why are we not getting purifiers? Oh, it's probably because we don't have enough gears. Mm. Yeah, that's a problem with these kinds of systems sometimes. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab some gears. I might even have some on me. No, I don't. Okay, it's okay. No worries. We're just going to buy some from the gear factory right here they got tons and tons and tons just waiting for us to come shopping it's great very great array many gears all the time gears day and night gears happily like landing in our inventory where did they go oh there they are yeah i see them now okay cool cool very cool let's give them what they need and i'll also put a chest here just to feed it gears i know that seems ridiculous but yeah that's what we're doing uh, because we need more of these items. Definitely need more of these items. I'll take that. Um, because we need them to finish our build. Now, it looks like... Why are we not getting blue... Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Help! Oh, no! I wonder how that happened. I don't know that I, I... I don't think I did anything. But I probably did. Because, you know, always user error. It's a thing. It happens. It's a thing. So, no worries. We will just fix it and move on. That's what we do here. No need to cry over things or meow or whatever. You just fix it and move on. Okay. So, this whole thing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these guys. The uh, ones doing the aluminum. I'm going to control X this aluminum. Num, 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 num. And we'll move that up here. And we can place it such that, let's see, is that in line? Yeah, that's in line. We can place it such that any further aluminum can come on this side. I hope you are enjoying my efforts at humor here. Oh, that's actually not correct. Nope, because it's too darn close. Okay, let's fix that again. Uh, right, get this, the whole shebang. And move it one space over. There we go. Right, all right, so that's good. That's perfect. Um, and in this case, what we want to do is put a splitter right here. And change, let's see, control, right click to copy, left click. Wait, no, it's shift, right click to copy, left click to paste. And we are going to, let's see, grab the last bits off of this thing. Because when you first put it down, of course, it has to just split. It just doesn't give you a break at all. It's like, nope, 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 nope. This is happening. No choices. Whatever. Uh, and we're, all, we're also going to put in one more machine here. So let's copy this whole thing. And put in another. Because we do need more capacity here for this stuff. Also, why is this not happily situated there we go and connect up the belts make sure everything is working properly looks like we need to definitely connect these power poles there we go because we didn't kind of connect them from up here so that should 
make things better. So all the aluminum is going to be moved on to here. Um, let's see. This is aluminum. Num, num, num. Aluminum. Num, 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 num. That sounds nice. It sounds very like tasty. Actually, we should put it there because there is a power pole there. Already here. Aluminum. Yes. Okay, good. So that can fill up the belt from that side. And then this is going to give us the aluminum here. And then that means we can add another copper maker thing over here, which is there. Yep. Let's see. Okay, I'll let that happen with nanobots. Oh, what happened here? What is this? What is going on with this? Oh, it's just rock underneath, I think. I was like, what is that? That looks weird. Uh, oh, it is taking into here. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I think what I'll do, though, is I kind of want to put it up here. Like there. There. Control right click, control left click. Okay, we're going to filter that for a moment here. Uh, okay, and then we get rid of this, and then we get rid of some of this. Okay, very good, very good. And then add a power pole there, because apparently we need a connection. So this should be iron. Do we have any iron? Yeah, okay, good. And the copper. Uh, I don't know what we need to do with this copper. Hmm. Maybe we just feed it to the machines and call it good. Like that. Okay. So now we have expanded a lot uh, of these things into where it needs to go. Let's go ahead and clean up these belts on the opposite side. I think it's all uh, been dispersed into the factories by now. We can also get rid of that. Actually, I'll just... Oh, it. wow, it gave me the whole thing in one go. I thought it was going to have to like delete it one piece at a time or whatever. Take out one piece at a time like regular bots do. And I thought they they take them off the belts one piece at a time as well. But I guess it matters when uh, when it's a whole chest full or something. Anyway, there we go. We have lots of aluminum now. Um, I also think that I am going to add aluminum to the end of this belt here. Because already made stuff. We can recycle this actually. Uh, this way. Uh, so that other... Aluminum doesn't get created before the excess is used. All right. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so life is happy. The iron is getting used, but nothing else is getting used. That is not a good sign. I Well, I mean, it's, yeah, it's not ideal. Whatever it is, it's definitely not ideal. That's what we're going with today. How is this working? Everything is going fine over here, it looks like. So we needed this copper stuff to make um these assemblers the new assemblers and i think we should add that right now to this uh thing so we're making regular assemblers here we want to make the level two assemblers right over here they need various things holy fuzzy cats they need steel as well Jeez. okay all right all right fine uh i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a half a belt of iron here because it definitely feels like we need to have a split belt here. And I'm going to move these guys over as... Oh, no, 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 Careful. Do not, do not. Because here is where we want to do like a kind of a cross thingy. So maybe we put that aluminum stuff over here. That's this stuff over there. And then here we can fill up these belts and just make them go to... Output priority to the right, basically. All right, so here, we're just gonna do our thing like this. There we are, and nice. Okay, so we're gonna have a half a belt of iron here. Let's get this. Actually, just up to there for now is fine. So that's something. So on the gear belt, I think the gears uh, should have half a belt of steel as well. Now, getting it on this belt is going to be interesting, but I like interesting problems, so let's go. So if we do steel, this is going to be squiggly. Oh no, can we even do this? 
Oh yes, yes we can. Um, all right, this is gonna take some serious finagling. Let's see, can we do this? There we go. What we need to do is do this. No, wait, that doesn't work, does it? No, no, no. Ah, but it does if we do this. Yes, that works quite nicely, doesn't it? Beautiful. Okay, and this one goes here. Yay. Nai, 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 nai. I knew, I knew something was wrong with that. Okay, so here is better. Now we have a half a belt of steel properly going on, half a belt of steel. Uh, with the seal, we probably should balance it just... Well, actually, do we have... Where's the rest of our steel going on here? Why do we only have... Oh. Oh, no. I've messed this up completely, haven't I? I have. Okay, so what's happening is... Um, because we're feeding it onto one side of the steel, it's only going on... One side of the steel. I know, big shocker, right? Um, so <laughs> we need to not have that happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that slightly. Actually, uh, control ZZ. -Z. Good, good. Um, we're going to do this instead. So this is ending up on that side of the belt. And I think what we need to do is something like this uh er, there yep there we go so it's on both sides of the belt because it is um it's not a full belt of steel but it should be going on both sides and that's what is important in this situation because uh it only makes one fifth of a belt of steel that's how that works but it's nice to have belt storage and actually some production on the steel here so what is kill effect or K1 effectivity? These are K1 memory. No clue what that is. We're just going to go with it. So what else do we have here? Flying freight trains. That sounds very festive. Let's get that. We do have a lab research speed, which we can do as well. Not actually sure what we should go for, though, next. I guess we can click on the next science. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if we need, to, we do actually need, need to do gray science, I believe. So let's get that made. The next is blue. So we need the oil stuff for blue, including kerosene production. Wow, that's cool. Um, we're going to look at that in a bit. Looks like we have finally uh, have, have an excess of labs, which is nice. Also, how do we make lamps? Because we want to make those. We have short balloon lights and the regular. Let's make the short ones plates sticks and circuits we have all of these things on this line here wait why why oh they're just so the same color wow okay gotcha all right that's fine put that there and a power pole and what else do you need you just need these things, which is fine. We'll get you those things, and there you go. Aluminum thingy thingies. Is it going to take it now? Yeah, good. Okay, so we can now make, finally, finally, regular, uh, our, kind of our standard, gold standard assembling machines. That's always nice to have. So next thing we're going to do, let's make an iron stick machine for those lights. Uh, yeah, that's good. Wait, what? Wait, huh? Huh? Okay, that's fine. And then the lights machine is going to be... Actually, what I should do is lights here and something else that needs sticks over there. Let's do that. Short balloon lights, and this is going to be the sticks. Just because maybe we can share it with something else, potentially. Um, I do actually want to make some train items as well see and this can go there what else do we need circuits and that's pretty much it let's get this and power that cannot connect and we need to do an output 
thing somewhere. I guess maybe behind is okay. Actually, in front of is okay as well. Let's put a box there for you. There we are. And we'll just have like one stack of lights. I don't think we really need more than that. I'll try to put lights around. I'm not very good at that, so forgive me if I forget. But that's how it goes. Now then, uh, train things. I wonder if they're made the same way or not. Let's see. Sticks, steel plate, and stone for tracks. That sounds reasonable. This needs engine units. Now we, we kind of made a few last episode just for uh, pumps. But... Oh, we forgot to expand the pumps. My goodness me. Yes, let's go and do that before we get on to new projects. So in general, if you're new to this game, the way you play... And this is this is very much more complicated than the base game, just FYI. But in general, what you want to do is follow science and go and kind of research the next science and the next and the next, kind of like that. So let's see. Let's just copy this thing a majang. Let's just do. Uh uh-huh. No, that's not right. No 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 no. Nine and nine nine nine. Yep, there we go. Cause this is gonna have to have these. Then here we get this complicated stuff. There we go. Dude. Okay, we're just gonna put it with nanobots because nanobots can break the rules. I love that. It's fantastic. Good. Alright, these chests are getting fuller. More full. So let's build a steel chest. Those have the largest storage size. I don't like to build a lot of these chests because... They, um, they're expensive. They're extremely expensive. It's almost always better to build a wooden chest. Some people have these ideas of like, yeah, let's recycle the steel chests into the logistics chest. But the chests that I use those for, I don't really recycle. Like, you know, ones around train stations and stuff. Those never, ever need steel chests or, uh, logistics chests. So it's not really a thing. Okay, so that's, uh, satisfied. Which is great. We upgraded the other stuff too. Okay, so what we're lacking is... Okay, we have aluminum. Aluminium. Yes. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just like... Uh, yeah, put some on the other side of the belt. Just get stuff flowing and more belt storage. I know there's a balancer at the end here. Or there's not actually. Okay, there's not actually a balancer at the end. So it's, it is misbalanced having one machine on one side of the belt. But it's okay. I don't think it matters that much. Well, it doesn't matter that much. It doesn't matter at all, in fact. So what do we need for this? This is not working. Uh, it costs red cubes. What the heck is that? Oh, no. Okay, let's get rid of this then. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Let's see if we can find those red cubes in here. Oh, jeez. Look at this. So much stuff. Red cubes. I don't see them unless they're under intermediate products. They might be here. No, I don't see them here either. Hmm. Huh. All right. Well, we do need engine units. And uh, those are made for... So we were looking at trains potentially. And if we make engines, they need, let's see, iron gears, pipes, steel, uh, and then this aluminum ceramic. Trains. Trains are very important to make, by the way. They need steel. They, do, they need additional circuits. These need stone and steel and iron. Oh my god, they need everything. They basically need everything. That's we what we have learned here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a train assembly place right here so let's do that let's just build trains okay i have no idea what how this is going to work but we're going to try okay we're just going to try all we can do is try right and that's one of the things people tell me that sometimes they're intimidated by big mod packs and 
my response to that is just basically just do the best you can. Just try. Just do the thing and get as far as you can. And if you need help, come to my Discord and maybe we can help or, you know, just kind of like learn how to build better and play so that you can kind of figure stuff out better. Okay, assembling machine. This one is going to make, I think it's going to make engines. So what do we need? Wait, you know what we need? We need two machines. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three. There we go. We need this. We need two machines making um, gears and pipes. Okay. So, and then they're going to output onto this belt here, which is going to go down the line. So let's try this. We're going to do, oops. Yeah. Wow. We have filled up that thing quick. Haven't we? Pipes are on the first page. Oh no, 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 no. Nye. Whoops. I am not navigating this well. Pardon me. Okay. There we go. And power to the machine. So this is going to make stuff for us. And right now we have this very naughty looking. Okay, let's remove this because we don't actually need those belts. They're kind of a placeholder. Well, they are a placeholder, not kind of. They actually are. And this is also kind, uh, actually a placeholder. Yes, okay. We should use precise words when possible. It sounds nicer and it works better for understanding of stuff. Okay, so we're going to take that and we're going to make iron into stuff. Okay, so the first thing I think I want to make is going to be the engines. And the engines, let's see, they need pipe, they need steel and ceramic component. Okay, so let's take the next belt and make that one steel and ceramic components. Oh, whoops, we didn't connect that. So here's steel, that's quite easy to do. And then if we do that and then, then get this, and then the ceramic is gonna come from here down there. Okay, let's get that going. And that goes connecty connecty. Wait, I don't know if they actually make those sounds. <laughs> ah, but it does sound cute. Connecty connecty, it works. Belt painting, and yes, I have the belt painting thingy thingy turned off because I don't, it, it, I don't know, it just is not a convenience that I find convenient. There we go. Okay, so half and half steel and a, a component thingies. Okay, next, um, well, we need to get this stuff serving into here. Okay. All right, so that's going to give us engines. Now, engines, I feel like we should put in a box. And the reason for that is if we want to make more pumps or something, we can just take them from the box. And then those can go into the train assembly uh, assembler. The train assembly assembler. Oh, yes, all the technical words coming out today. That's why you're here. It's great. Okay, so steel and green circuits. So let's get the steel from there and then the green circuits are going to come from there uh, okay so last belt needs green circuits i don't know what else is going to go on that belt to be fair so let's just start it out like here and let's have a space where we can take it upward there and there and just squiggle it around like that I am going to make this a half belt because I think we might need another component on here that I've forgotten. So trains can exist now. This is pretty exciting. This is like pretty great. Also, we need to get, oh, you know what we need to look up? We need to look up and see if we can get those steel power poles happening. Let's have one uh, square of trains and wait, I bet that's what I've done. I press R accidentally just as I'm getting out of the menu. Uh, power poles. Yes, we can make them. Copper, steel, sticks, and aluminum ceramic. Okay, here's copper, steel, and sticks, and things. Okay, so we're gonna get, let's get the sticks up here. Wait, I want that. I want, I want, oh, I have, I have them. All right, they're here. 
So this is that. Then we need sticks there. Sticks are made very fast. It's like a half a second per thing. So we never need to have like a box for sticks, I feel. Let's take that and this. And we take... So this makes... Wait. No. No. No, no, no. Uh, that makes these. Okay, so you don't need that. That actually goes onto the other section here. This is stick land right there. Uh, but we do need this stuff, and we do need the other stuff. But I do like to have the longer range of these power poles. They make life really much easier, as you will soon see. Let's see. Uh, we need the components. There we go. Sticks. There we go. Nice. All right. So, yay. Let's go ahead and get these uh, purifiers in our inventory. This is really suffering with the lack of stuff here. I think it's because I keep emptying these boxes, but yeah, this is really not fast enough, I think. Let's maybe make it faster. This can also stand to be faster. And then I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our science. Because um, as long, also, as long as you upgrade all the machines in a chain, it is going to be the same ratio. So, you know, the speed obviously is controlled by the speed of the machines. But if you upgrade everything that's connected to it, then everything should work fine. With no change in ratio at all. Okay, let's take that. Um, and I want you to build many of these things. Wait, what are you missing? Oh no! Oh no, we don't have the aluminum junk stuff. Is it coming here? No, it isn't! Oh no, alright. Gosh, and golly darn it. Well, golly gee. Um... How do I fix this? Okay, I know how to fix it. It's fine. Let's get that there. go let's put that there and this and that and that okay that goes there that goes there except we need a there there because we want to do this i'm so used to doing these things i remember when i used to watch somebody play this game and i was like how do they know how many squares back to 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 peel back the pipes or whatever and it was like such a magical thing and i'm like wow how do they do that and later i just found out it's just experience really it's just experience and you just learn how to do it over time kind of uh okay i also want to put in let's see we replaced a fair few of these machines so i want to put those into the recycle bin there uh, oh, this is a great place to put in a circuit cable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to limit this inserter. So I'm going to connect the inserter to the chest. And I'm going to tell the inserter if the number in the chest of... Actually, can I do the anything? Oh, let's see. If all... Sure. If anything is greater than, say, I don't know, 49, because I want to have 50 in there. Wait, yeah, if it's greater than 49, oh, that's enable. If it's less than 49 or if it's less than 50, that's what we want to do. If it's less than 50, keep putting stuff in there. If it's not less than 50, then don't. And that enables us to take this off, which uh, the thing about that is you can change this you can uh, uh control click this into your inventory you can also drop it from here if you want to from outside the menu that's the reason that a lot of people put circuit conditions on here to have that convenience um and that chest right now because we did the anything signal we didn't actually limit it to inserters uh we can use that on any chest pretty much Let, let's see that was the green one yeah green okay green for stuff green means go 
Green is all the thing. Okay, what do we need for this? Oh, we need blue. Oh, we don't have that. Okay, uh, let's skip that for now. Let me go ahead and grab... Huh, what do we want to get next? I guess we go for... Let's go for plastics. Let's go for all the things that are oil related. Plastics, uh, sulfur processing. And then we need... What else? We need some of this stuff. Crystal growing. And we need kerosene production. Kerosene producing, it's called here. But crystal growing, okay, sure. And then we're going to get blue science. Oh, we need something else. Oh, we need these, advanced electronics, great. And then blue science. Okay, so all of these are components of blue science, apparently, and we need to get them going. Now, the last that we saw, oh, we have some oil right down here. Isn't that fancy? But we need to get some other things first. So how is this going? This is actually working. Okay. Uh, trains require many engines, apparently. 20 engine units each. So we don't actually have any yet. Um, we were going to make other things. Like we need to make train cars. So those wagons need everything we have. Okay, we can make those. These require storage tanks. What do those need? Plates and steel. Okay, we can make those. Um, we also want the tracks. Now tracks need stone. So stone is what we don't have, but we can put stone maybe on this line with the green circuits. Let's go and put that on the line with the green circuits. And the reason for that is because, um, so we can, it can start to travel up here by now. Uh, er, let's see what I can do is all this excess stone that's going through this area, maybe what we should do is just kind of make this into the next bus line, uh, to be honest. Yeah, what do you think, game? Uh, game thinks maybe we are going to do some serious, like, spaghettiing here. But spaghetti, if you remember, is wonderful. It is also tasty and very... Uh, I don't know. It's like the lifeblood of certain countries. Okay, so let's see. That was coming from here, which means we want to have a split off. You know what? We're going to do something weird, maybe. Let's just do the split off there and just kind of go this way around. I think that's the cleanest way to do this. Okay, that'll be fine. So now we have many things. Let's make the cargo wagon thing next. So this one is quite easy. We need steel, iron, and gears. So easy peasy. The iron comes from this side, of course. Uh, let's grab that. Gears and steel. I'm kind of moving it toward the top because of uh, power poles. Put that there and we can grab a box. Let's just copy. Put that here. Again, we're gonna have, let's have like two, three, maybe. I usually take three things of cargo wagons when I go anywhere and do stuff. So let's get this one also. And this one is gonna be the opposite, the um, fluid wagons, not really opposite, but they are fluidy. They're fluidic wagons, yes. And that, of course, needs a fluid uh, container, which we're going to put into a box. And the reason for that, of course, is so that we can grab some from the box later. And we'll go ahead and limit that to one because we are going to make refineries later in the game. And that's kind of important to, to work with. So steel gears. Steel and gears and pipes right we have all those things and then those things are going to be made in this thing this is going to be our storage tank maker oh we're kind of overrunning ourselves a tiny bit but i think it'll be okay well oh well, well what we can do we can make this a tiny bit more compact if we get rid of this okay and then get rid of that and then control v this away uh, oh, I need to remove that, actually. That was a bad positioning there for that. Uh, and we can do this, actually. 
just put that right next to each other and then this can be our thing where we hold one set of tanks and that gets moved on in that direction like that so this needs steel and iron it's quite a simple recipe so steel there and then iron is going to come along and go there there we go okay and I want to save room and have kind of almost a straight line here so we can start making things that away that's the goal here with that in case you were wondering why I was moving stuff around. Also, oh, let's see. Do we have, why don't we have any of these? Hello? Oh, yeah, of course. I put it in the wrong, wrong thingy. Oh, well. Let's see. Can I give you some? There you go. Have fun. Uh, also, let's grab some of these power poles. So I really, I, I kind of don't like to use wooden power poles after a time. Um, they are useful. Uh, wait, how do I clear? Oh, middle click. Middle click to clear. Pretty useful. Um, those steel ones are more expensive. I don't know. It's not really a huge deal either way, I think. So here we're going to have our uh, track, which is going to be steel and... Yeah, okay, we need sticks for this as well and stone. Didn't we have a stick maker down here somewhere? We have a stick maker here. We have a stick maker here. Uh, I think we're going to share that stick maker. So steel, stone, get that and that. Okay, that's nice. Check that out. And then we're going to do something like, actually that's bad altogether right there. This is going to be our stick output here to go there because we really do not need another uh, thing going there. And we can say, use some of these wooden power poles as they are useful to us. There's no reason we shouldn't. So we'll go ahead and put the track into a box. Uh, we need, we're going to need a lot of track. So we're going to just leave a whole row open for that. But we are making lots of nice stuff here. We have cars. We even have a locomotive. Now, how do we make train stops? Those are iron, steel, stick, oh, sticks. Oh my God. The sticks are just going <laughs> to, they're going to be the bane of my existence. I can see. Um, let's see. I could put them at the end. All right, I'll go ahead and put them at the end. So we'll just copy this. And this is going to be train stops. Because I kind of like to have it all in the same area. It's very handy that way. We only need one. It's I think it stacks to 10, if I recall correctly. So it's really easy to have enough, really enough. So... I don't know what we need with this. Let's see. What do we need? All right. Iron, steel. Okay. So this has to go past. And there. Okay. Iron. And let's get the steel. Okay. Okay. And we need this stuff and then the stupid sticks again. <laughs> uh, okay. So that goes there. And then we need sticks. How... How is that going to happen? Um, mm, what we could do is move that one instead. and Put that there. Oh, yeah, of course we can do that. That's easy. I forgot you, you can uh, you can do that. See, you can move them in all in one line. And they don't interfere with each other. Okay, sticks are going to happen here. And I think, can we do this and that still work? Let's see. Might. So then sticks go into there. This is so silly. <laughs> I feel like this stick thing is quite silly. But, I mean, we're making use of our assets. And we're not creating new assets that we don't need. Um, like, you really don't need that many train stops. So why not share it? I mean, you are going to need a lot of power poles. But it seems to be making... Well, it's actually not getting any. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh. Um, hmm. All right. Well, we're going to do something different then. Uh, we're going to do this instead. We're going to do a stick share here. Like this. 
This is so silly looking, but it works. You know, it works. That's the most important part of this whole thing, right? That it actually functions. We do not care if it does, you know, uh, about other things. We need it to function. Okay, so now it's, what is it lacking? Copper. Wait, what? Oh, okay. We lock. Oh, I think we fed it from our inventory. That's why it was working for a time. All right. This is great. Now, I would like to make large power poles as well. They also need sticks. So I feel like a natural place to put these would be near the sticks. Hooray. Oh my God. We might actually need another stick maker after this. This is getting a bit silly. Um, but yeah, we can just, again, the mall though is meant to work over time. So even if it seems like overcrowded or whatever, it's kind of working as intended. So let's see, let's get some stick power here. We're going to need both of those things. And then let's see, uh, steel and then the sticks. Of course we need steel there. Okay. Let's get another power pole. I love the coverage on these big power poles. They are so nice. Let's see, rotate and go there. Yay. Okay. Very good. All right. So now we have to have a storage place for those. And we'll put them in a box there. Yay. Let's have two squares of those things. Now I want to make a long distance like uh, power line so that we can do the zip line thing. And I want to make it as straight as possible toward the other end of the factory. That's going to be a process for sure. Let's see. What do we got? Chemical science packs. Everything has been done. Holy fuzzy cats. Jeez. Well, we're way ahead of ourselves. I think what we'll do here is let's do research on these random things that are in the menu, kind of cluttering up the menu. Let's do that. Even though we're not going to need them, like all these primer bounce pads and whatnot. Let's just get those flammables. Oh, are needed for rocket. So that's good. Wait, why do we not? Hello? Oh, end of research queue. Anyway, we'll get those going. Some of them go extremely fast. As you see, we do have a meowick. Hello, Emma. Hello. Okay. That was our Emma. Um, all right. And so this is going pretty well. We have train stuff. So next I guess is going to be oil. Uh, I really would like to train this oil in either make the oil refinery here or put it near the factory and train in the products that we need. Hello, my tiny pet. Hello. How you doing? Tiny girl. She's so beautiful. Love that cat. Um, yeah, too much love. We have way too much love for this cat altogether. Good girl. Um, we also, oh, we need to probably realign these guys because we now have this bus down here. Yes, my Emma. She's walking around me sniffing, very curious about things. So also finish up this array. So um, I think we recently got the items to finish that. This area here might need to be rejigged. Uh, into I would really rather train this in to be honest it is close enough that the belts are functioning so that's good um, but more throughput is definitely desirable with trains um, I think we're gonna get this oil where should we do this stuff I feel like we should almost do the oil refining in this area and then train in whatever produce that gives us um, I haven't really done that before. I almost always have the refinery next to the plant, next to the regular factory, because we have liquid things like sulfuric acid and um, like petroleum gas that we usually use in the factory, but maybe we train those in and add them in pipes as we go along. I think that would be a good idea. That also gives us the opportunity to have a pipe bus uh, between these areas. Um, or maybe even on this side here so that we have room for pipes and stuff. But yeah, we need to fix this entire situation here because this is not uh, going to work. Because they need to be moved up severely like this. Let's see. We need to move this one there. I think. Two and three and four. Yes. So all this stuff can be vacuumed up, really. That's going to be a fun project to clean up. I feel like we're going to have many like dump chests around the place. 
What we could do is make special steel chests. Uh, if we put steel chests around the corners of our factory, we can just upgrade them to empty chests. Uh, chests that will like empty themselves, basically. Uh, into recycling. Oh my goodness, Emma, hello! What's going on, my tiny pet? Hello! What you doing, my tiny? She's just like looking around. Like put her whole bot like like put her paws on top of the monitor, wondering what's going on. Just like curious. I don't know what's on with the cat. Cat is just being cat. But she's really good at it, so you know, I don't complain because, you know, when a cat's a good cat, nothing you can say about that. You just like accept the wonderfulness and beauty and majesty of the cat. Okay, so uh, we'll come back here, I think, and fix these belts. We need to finish them up. We need more belts right now. We have zero. And let's see, let's put the stuff in this dump chest here. Let's just put all of these things in there because we really don't need any of it. Sticks, gears, all the things. And we can collect the things that we do actually need. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.